takes him in, picks him up, names him Armando Responi. He's an orphan. Sixty years later, his grandson's born. His name's Eddie Responi. Sixty years to the day. Seventy years later, his grandson is on the doorstep of being the governor of Louisiana. Yeah. Only in America. That's the American dream, folks. That's the American dream. Are y'all ready to see the next governor of Louisiana? Please join me in welcoming Eddie Risponi. Oh, is it a great night in Louisiana? Yeah. LSU did something great tonight, too, all right. Yeah. I would have been out here about three minutes sooner, but they had this guy up in Washington, D.C. just called to congratulate us. Yeah. President Donald Trump is going to help us. He congratulates us. He's going to stay with Louisiana. He's going to make us great like the rest of the country, and he's going to support us. That's wonderful. Let's thank him. Let's go. Well, look, are y'all ready to shake up Louisiana and make it number one in the South? Well, let me start by thanking my family. They have been so supportive, and especially Linda. It's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask of seven married, beautiful children and 24 perfect grandchildren. But I'm so blessed. And I have many other family members here that have been stepping up to help us as well. And of course, all of you, you supporters. We could not do it without you. Thank you, thank you. Give yourself an applause and a hand. We have a great team that's worked very hard. This, you know, I'm not a politician. This is the first time I've ever ran for elected office. But we put together a devoted team that worked very hard and congratulate them as well. Thank you. And of course, the Almighty God. That's why we're here. We're here to serve the Lord to do what he asked us to do. We answered his prayers, we answered his requests, and with your prayers, we're gonna win. This is just the first step. We're gonna be the governor of Louisiana, but we're gonna turn this state around. I'd also like to thank Congressman Ralph Abraham. He called me earlier, very graciously said he's behind us, he's gonna support us.
had to tell him that he worked very, very hard, and Linda and I kept him in his, our prayers because the man flew himself all over this state working very hard because he wants to see the change as well. Please keep him in your prayers and thank him as well. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. It all boils down. If you want different results, you got to elect a different kind of governor. And what do we have? You know, we started our company. Jerry and I started our company 30 years ago, and there was three of us in my living room. And you know what? Now, today, we employ almost 4,000 families. We founded that company on treating others like we want to be treated and treating everyone with integrity. That's why we're successful. We're going to do the same thing here. You can start with three and wind up with 4,000 families. You can turn this state around with the right team, the right attitude, and you can shake up this state and make it great again. Thank you. Let's go do it. Right. That's it. I love it. Why is it important to have a job creator as your governor? We're the only state in the United States that's losing jobs. We have to do something different. And what do you do to get something different? You elect a different kind of governor. Let's say it. We have the highest auto insurance in the country. What do you have to do to change that? Elect to different kind of governor. Someone that's not beholden to trial lawyers. Someone that has the backbone to go after that. The notice is out there, folks. This is going to be a different state. We're going to go put the citizens first. And what are we going to do? We're going to reverse these tax hikes from John Bell Edwards. How do you do that? And we're going to stop the assault on our oil and gas jobs. We sent a notice out there. They're no longer in charge. Special interest is not going to run our state any longer. We're going to do something different by electing a different kind of governor. Thank you all. Y'all getting there. We're not going to be beholden to special interest. Why? Because we're going to put our children and grandchildren first, right? By electing a different kind of governor. We're getting there, folks. Career politicians, tax and spend career politicians are no longer in charge. All they want to do is grow government and spend your tax dollars, raise taxes. We're going to stop that as well. Why? Because we have a different kind of governor coming. Thank you. It's a clear choice. We've been saying this all along. We have a clear choice here. We have a conservative, an outsider, a business person, someone that has business, serious business skills, a job creator, someone that's not beholden to special interests, someone that has the backbone to go up against the special interest and the status quo. Or we have a liberal, tax and spend, career politician that happens to be a trial lawyer. It's a clear choice, folks. What do we want? We want different. What do we have to do? Elect a different kind of governor. I love it. We're getting there. We're going to make a difference. We're not going to accept failure any longer. We are ranked last. We are ranked last in the country. We're going to wake up. Thank God for President Trump. He stepped up and said, we can do something different by electing a different kind of president. We're going to do the same thing in Louisiana. We're not going to be last any longer. We're going to be first in, the, in this country, in the South, for sure. We're going to have the best job creation. We're going to lead the, lead the South when it comes to jobs and opportunities. And we're going to be that way because we want our grandchildren, our children and grandchildren, to stay here in Louisiana and be proud to call Louisiana home. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Let's go do it. This is the first phase of it. We're going to come back.